In 2011, The Intentist published a book entitled The Search for Intentist Art. This was a collection of interviews with Intentist artists that discussed the role of intention in their work. Maria Beros is an artist working in glass. To the question, could you tell us a little about what role intention plays in your art generally, Maria said this, My work is about history and memory, so I start from a specific frame of reference. My work is a continual reinterpretation as my understanding shifts and my memory reconfigures. The viewer can pick up these scenarios through aesthetic clues and material choices if they have similar cultural experiences. It is a window into a private world. It is concerned with trying to make sense of a set of conflicting dynamics, so the story never seems to be quite the same each time. The tensions take it in different directions, sometimes playful, other times distressing or ironic. To the question, how important is it to you that interpreters of your artwork consider your intentions? Maria says this. I think it is essential to have any real understanding of my work, to have some idea of my intentions in creating it. Of course, it may resonate for a viewer in a different way, but they need to be clear about what is their own projection as something separate from my intention. I often use words in my work that can have several meanings, all of which are relevant in some way. They start the interpretation process off. They are probably the clearest indication of my starting point. Viewers obviously come with their own take, but I believe it is superficial to just make their own interpretation without engaging with why the artist may have created the work. For example, if I meet a new person at a party and I don't just talk about myself or tell them who I think they are, I want to know about them and would ask questions. I think looking at art should be like a social interaction. It should be a two-way conversation. It should be open to the artist's intention. Finally, to the question, let's focus in on one of your artworks in particular. Could you share some of the thoughts behind this work? Maria said this. This work is called Familiar. It's a set of dining chairs inlaid with mirror, etched with lace patterns, and each has a phrase carved into it. It is a group family portrait. They relate to each other as avatars for the absent people. They are emotionally loaded with secrets, private lives and dreams, sacrifices and losses. Now broken and unstable, they have a patterner that bears witness to three generations, the personalities and the events that steered the course of their lives. The focus is on the personal, moments of significance that convey a person's individuality. They whisper a family story, drawing threads together between four different characters. Parlour games, scrabble and crosswords connect to make an image of familiarity. Objects that have been part of the backdrop of lifetimes fascinate me. They cease to be just chairs, tables, mirrors, and they are part of a continuous link with the past. The possessions left behind by my relations have communicated more to me and given me a better understanding of who they really were than the formal social gatherings of my childhood. You can read the rest of this interview and many others in the book The Search for Intent to Start. You can purchase it from Amazon or from the website intentism.com. Want to find out more? Subscribe to our Intentism YouTube channel and check out our website at www.intentism.com. See you there.